Meanwhile, there are 30 victims from Friday's terrorist attacks who are still in Christchurch Hospital. Now, the Canterbury District Health Board CEO, David Mates, joined leaders from other government agencies at a joint press conference this afternoon. He said nine of those patients, while they're still in a critical condition, in intensive care four days after the attacks. There are two um, patients that are, have been transferred um, over the past few days to Auckland. One is a four-year-old um, child that was transferred to Starship Hospital and her father was transferred um, and that child remains in a critical condition. The father was also transferred up to Auckland um, Hospital to be close to um, his daughter and with his wife and uh, he is in a stable condition in Auckland. Part of the ongoing response to the, um, the uh, patients that we've had so far, there will be ongoing uh, multiple operations for uh, a number of those patients and it is going to be a long-term recovery journey that many of them will be, uh, will be undertaking. Ministry of Social Development spokesperson John Henderson says service teams have been set up in the Christchurch suburbs of Rickerton and Linwood and specialist cultural and language support is being offered throughout New Zealand. Generally people will receive um, compensation and financial support through ACC and we're working very closely with ACC but we are here to help with regards to immediate needs of one-off costs such as food grants, petrol, clothing medical fees and prescriptions and would strongly encourage anyone who needs our assistance to contact us with any questions or concerns. Immigration New Zealand Assistant General Manager Peter Elms says its focus is on supporting the Muslim community and victims of the attack. Very early after the, uh, the attack, Immigration New Zealand has set up a 24-7 priority process uh, utilising our global network of officers. Uh, to ensure that we're able to very quickly facilitate the entry of family uh, into New Zealand to support the victims, uh, both for uh, burials and in the weeks uh, following that. Uh, that process is working very well and uh, to date 65 visas have been granted uh, for travelling family members who are either already here or on their way here. Uh, those visas are processed uh, within 24 hours. From today, immigration officers in Christchurch are also meeting face-to-face -face with those affected so they can tell them directly about what their immigration requirements are. Ministry of Education spokesperson Katrina Casey says Christchurch principals and teachers, social workers, health workers and counsellors are working closely with affected schools. So far, we have had direct contact seeking support from 68 schools and 19 early childhood centres. At any given time, we have up to 20 priority one schools and three early childhood centres. A priority school or early childhood centre is one that has direct connections either to victims and or parents of victims and or staff and or the Muslim community. Our traumatic incident teams are in constant contact, visiting and multiple visits where needed to these priority schools, while at the same time making sure that all our other schools and early childhood centres are getting the right level of support. Ms Casey says the Ministry is also providing additional support to schools in Auckland, Waikato, Wellington and Dunedin as its Muslim community has very strong ties to the Christchurch community. ACC spokesperson Phil Riley says the Crown Agency has a team in Christchurch dedicated to providing support to victims and their families. ACC scheme provides a set of entitlements uh, the only test in this case is if the incident occurred in New Zealand, and of course it has, so people are covered, uh, both the dependents of those who have been deceased and those who have been injured as well. So to the question in terms of if anyone was the sole income earner, uh, if they were injured, uh, they will get ongoing entitlements and support. Uh, if they were family members of someone who has been deceased, likewise they and their children uh, with certain parameters will also get ongoing support. <coughs>